two, one, zero. All engine running. Apollo 11 was the result of hard work, little sleep, and billions of dollars. 300,000 kilometers away, a small blue planet watched in awe. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. American Neil Armstrong setting foot on the moon. We didn't get to see the, uh, the moon until we were just practically at the end of our trip to it. And when we, were, when we rolled out and looked at it, oh, it was an awesome sphere. It really was. The current head of NASA tells Al Jazeera the U.S.'s ambition was fueled both by science and by politics. Uh, the president at the time, John F. Kennedy, said we need to have a vision and a goal. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Uh, and the goal was to get to the moon, and so it, it, it resulted in this space race at the time that was, I think, um, uh, it was motivated by um, basically competition. Return American astronauts to the moon, establish a permanent base there, and develop the technologies to take American astronauts to Mars and beyond. NASA's new plan, return to the moon by 2024, hoping that naming its mission after Apollo's twin sister Artemis will be the key to success. Apollo had an infinite budget, though, and skeptics wonder if Artemis is limited by both time and money. And when NASA was really pushing during the Apollo era, they were getting something like 4% of, of the national budget. Now it's about 0.4% of, 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 of the national budget. And it really depends on what the political will is to fund the agency. Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon, says the U.S. can't do this alone. This is not just NASA, just the U.S., we have an alliance of nations that need to venture out. A view echoed by space law experts. We need to explore space as a human species, not, a, not as Americans and Chinese and Russians and Indians. You know, we are humans. We're all in this together. 50 years on, the footprints left by 12 men are a challenge, as one of them put it, to return to the moon with peace and hope for all mankind. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.